What do you think about the concept of uh, having to share a man after you're over 35? Um, it seems like it's more common nowadays, like girls are just okay with it. But from my own perspective, if I was 35 right now, I probably wouldn't want to share a man. And that's okay. just the line. Do okay, you have any kids? I do. How many, how many kids? I have one. How old? He's five. So if you were over 35 with a five-year-old, now you 10 years old, and you wouldn't want to share a man, why should a man have to share his money with your kid? Uh, That's fair, you know, to say, why would he have to share it? But mm -hmm. if he wants me, then he would have to. No, he don't. See, what, okay. I mean, I'm, trying to be, I'm not trying to be rude, but see, I think it's funny, especially single mothers, y'all vastly overestimate. Your sexual marketplace value is lower than it was when you started. All single mothers. So let's take this out of, let's, let's take this out of personal. Let's say you went to a store and something cost $300. And you know you had, and you know you only got two hundred dollars in your pocket. Would you walk in the store and try to buy that? No. That's All crazy, right, but that's right? what y'all try to do in the marketplace. You're trying to get men who you trying to get men who are like five hundred dollars, and you got two hundred fifty dollars worth of buying power. The older you get, do you think your 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 sexual marketplace buying power increases or decreases? Obviously, it decreases. All right, so that means you're going to have to be able to get less, right? For majority of women, yes. No, for all women. What makes you special? It's not me necessarily, but there are women that's 35 years old who no, can- No, but see that, look, I, what does that do? What does it have to do with you though? That's that wanting to be right. Well, if I want to talk about me, I feel like if I was 35 years old with a 10 year old and I carry the way that I carry myself now, I don't think I would depreciate at all. Oh, so you'd be the first female in history who wouldn't, her, she wouldn't depreciate if she got older? How's that happen? I, for me, it's because you, when you don't understand like having a kid young and doing all those things and you start learning that stuff, basically growing, it's, it's possible for you to still obtain a six-figure man that's making 75000 a year and, you know, who can afford that lifestyle okay, for you. Okay, a six-figure man is making a hundred and some odd thousand, not seventy five. A hundred. I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm just, okay, but, but older, what product on the market gains value with age and use? Why? Not with use. Well, liquor. <laughs> Anything that's, I, that's how I feel. For me, like I said, okay, for me personally. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Black people used to think feelings and facts are different. And I'm gonna just tell you, I get tired of hearing black women in particular because you're our women. I don't care about those other women as much as I care about black women. I get tired of hearing black women feel like because they don't feel like or they don't like something that they can dismiss the truth of it. If a non-black woman were to say that, but you're mine. I got to care that you don't understand that you can't just dismiss it because you don't like the way it sounds. Understand that? We got far too many women who think like you, move like you, because the way you feel, you can just dismiss it. Well then, what man who shares your reflection feels the same way, that your value goes up as you get older? What men on the planet think that way? They probably don't think that way. I'm not a man, so I don't know well, how a man If men thinks. don't think that way, how are you going to force a man to accept it? I'm not going to force him to accept exactly, it. Exactly, because it won't work. So, ma'am, your value goes down whether you like it or not. Whether you think that you'll be more valuable five years from now with a 10 year old, you're still a single mother. And that, that, that and okay, what does that so mean? Hypothetically. That means it's not it, his child. 
That's all that means. It's not his child. Your child is a liability to another man, not an asset. Okay, so okay. go back to me. I'm okay with letting the dad have the child for me to start over. I am okay with that. He can live with his father and his father's wife and they can be a happy family and I'll get them on the weekends and holidays. That's fine with me. So that another man don't have to raise his child. I would never put my child off on another man. Okay, but- He has an active okay, father in his life. Listen, no, listen. While that is something that most women would not do, the fact that you still had a child means your womb has been used. You have, you, have, you have risked your life to clone another person. That matters to us as men. So it still lowers your value. I'm still trying to understand why you think your value won't go down. And you haven't made a, haven't made a compelling case. Again, I wasn't, well, I've always been fit, but I wasn't friendly. I wasn't cooperative. I wasn't all those things that you say a woman should be what a man looks for. Mm -hmm. And so for me, when I get older, when, as I get older, I am becoming more fit, friendly, compromised and understanding okay. and being that piece that a man is looking for. Right. So that's what, you're, what, what, you're, what you're doing though, ma'am, is you're, 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 you're evaluating the market by comparing yourself today to yourself yesterday. Okay, you're comparing yourself to, I'm better than I was, right? Right. But the market is much bigger than you, man. The market is thousands and thousands of women who don't have, who some were worse than you, some who are far better. A man gets to pick one. And if you had the choice to pick one, you're gonna get the best you can, not the one that was better than she was. You're gonna get the best. <laughs> well, if you're talking about this generation, shoot, I'm damn near the best. <laughs> With a kid. No, you're not. I talk to women every day, ma'am. I mean, I, I think that's arrogant to, for you to say, because where do you live? Well, right now I'm in Australia. Okay. Due respect, ma'am, I talk to women worldwide for the last... Your attitude is not even right, ma'am. Okay. So what I'm saying is, this is the arrogance of the modern female. Y'all feel like y'all can just do whatever and say whatever, and it's always going to be good. But if, if it was all that, why didn't the man you made a baby with put a ring on your finger? That was his decision not to. Well, then why would you make a decision to have his baby? See? That's what Again, men Again, the thing that I had to learn. No, you did not. I wasn't taught, you know. Ma'am, you live, you live in the West. In the West, it is well known that you should get married before you have a baby. That's not new news. You chose to make, you chose, y'all chose to have sex, but you, women pay a higher price in sex than men because you risk pregnancy and you can't undo that. And you can't act like it didn't happen and you can't act like that it doesn't matter. It matters to men. And if he chose not to marry you, what kind of signal does that send to the next man? Because you gave the man, you gave a man the highest gift you can give any man. And you didn't require marriage. So why so this is why I tell women you don't typically get higher than your baby daddy, because you that's where you set your price. Your baby daddy is your price. And it only goes you know, down. It figures and if we wanted to get married, we could, but we would have to take our time over again. Your baby daddy making six figures does that's fine, ma'am, but it matters about character and all those other things too. He, he didn't marry you, right? You didn't want to marry you. <laughs> Again, I didn't understand that I should have prioritized I marriage. Get I get I it. I understand that I now. Get it. So I get it. My, and, I, and what I'm saying is to women, I'm talking to you and I'm also talking through you. This is why it would be so much better for most of you ladies to just go finish the families you started. Because whatever you're saying, ma'am, matters to you and that child's father to the random man in the sexual marketplace it doesn't mean a goddamn thing to a random man in the street in the marketplace it doesn't matter a goddamn thing i'll put her and i'll put her interview back up but they can hear her answer it doesn't it doesn't matter 
you come into another, you come into a man and saying, hey, Roger, I'm better today than I was. And Roger's like, shit, I just met you today. All I'm judging on is today. But then he's going to say, well, let me look at your history, just like any other employer. Okay, you had a job that you was fired from. Now, that job cost you your future. You cost you, it cost you this, but you got fired from it or you didn't get promoted at that job. Why did you give all this stuff to that job and they didn't promote you? Then you come into and you want me to come over, you want me to pay you more? No, 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 no. We're going to pay you what you got paid back there. Because you did it over there, you did that job over there for less money and you worked harder. You ain't gonna come to me 10 years later asking for more money. You gonna get less money. Because you've already set the market. And that's the point I'm trying to get ladies to understand. Your child's father sets the market for you. And unfortunately, you don't get to move that number around just because you you because you're better than you were. This is what I see the danger with Sierra's prayer and all that stuff because it makes women think that, well, I can do better. No, that's not how that typically happens. And how we got here, folks, is the whole notion of sharing a man. And I guess why I'm having this conversation is to let ladies understand that the more stuff you have on your resume, the uh, the the more you're gonna have to the more you're gonna have to uh, share, the more more shit you're gonna have to put potentially put up with, and a lot of women don't like that. So let me let me go ahead and unmute you. Um, do you have anything else you want to say, ma'am? I, I don't want to go ahead and say because oh, well, you're, you're thirty right now, right? I'm twenty. You're talking to me, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah, I'm 27, but I guess my problem is not necessarily the type of man to get. It's about getting the man to commit, you know, because I've had several guys who make good money. They have their own. They don't have children. They've never been married. That uh -huh. really would love to be with me, but it's about the commitment. How do I get that man to say, okay, this is who I want? Because I'm honestly scared to just go out there and just be like, give him all of me because I know I have a kid. Okay. I'm confused. You said, how do you get a man to commit to you? Yeah. Well, cause for me, I have several guys who they make good money. They have their own, but how do you choose who, which one do you choose? Which do you date are, all of them at the same are, time? Which one is proposed marriage? They, they haven't, none of them propose. Cause so what I, are you, what are you choosing from? Which one do you give your time to to see if that's the person? Well, okay, you, you're confusing me because you're saying you have men. Okay, let me just give you an example. Hold on, hold on. You're, saying you men, hold on. you're saying you have men and you keep sending their money, so I guess they're a certain caliber. But you're saying they want you, but what if they proposed? As far as marriage, they haven't proposed then because how do you know they want you? They communicate with me. They want to take me out on dates. They want to get to know me. And that's but the link. That's the link. The okay. You ladies often read stuff into men. If a man wants you, he's gonna tell you what he wants you for. Do you make room for the fact that they only want you for this to date and have fun? No, they all would love to marry, but they have to get to know you first. What do you mean, how they would all would love to marry? How can you say that? Because they say it. They say they want to marry you or they want to be married? They will marry me. That's my baby daddy loss is what they say. You're, I'm not talking about your baby daddy. You talk about these <laughs> other two men. Say I would marry Why didn't he marry you? That's his loss. Hold on, hold on, hold on ma'am. I listen really well. I'm not talking about your child's father. You said you have other men who want to marry you. Who would love to, yes. And how do you know they want to marry you? What exactly have they said? So I have one guy who says, I've been knowing you for a long time. We take our time. One day you will be my wife, but we have to take our time. 
How long have you known this man? 12 years. That's called game. Game it is. I mean, goddamn, ma'am. You known him for 12 years? Have y'all been intimate? No. He didn't, he don't want you. Man, <laughs> 12 years, how much, I mean, just take it away from you. Does that even sound reasonable? We need to take our time. How much time you need? Okay, it sounds reasonable when you're young and I'm like, no, I'm no, a no, 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 no. You, you, you're the one that's confused. I'm trying to help you. When did people take 12 years to get to know each other 75, 80 years ago? Okay, so let's slow down, right? Let's slow down so what? Let's slow down, because when he says, I want you to still live your life, I feel like it's selfish of me to try to take that away from you. You're in college, you're young, I'm an older male. I don't want to take your youth away from you. That's selfish, is what he said. That's very selfish on my part. Now that I'm older, he's a little bit more aggressive with letting me know, hey, I want to be with you. You're the person that I want. But now it's like, I got all these other options. Who got all these other options? Me. Even after a baby. Uh-huh. I'll make you famous. I believe you believe that, ma'am, but it don't sound like you. It sounds like uh, there are all these good companies out here. And they, they let you take a tour of the plant. They let you take a tour of the office. You got, a, you got an offer letter? You got, a, you got a physical offer letter from any of these companies. <laughs> I got the keys to the crib. Uh The answer was, do you have a physical offer letter? Engagement ring. Just no. One knee, then you ain't got shit except game. <laughs> okay, your opinion. Young lady at the bottom, do you have a different opinion? That's why you're smiling because apparently she's not hearing me. Maybe she'll hear you. What do you think? Um, I don't really want to say much, but it's just a lot. Uh huh. She don't want to say, say much because she don't want to hurt your feelings. But every time I make a point, she's smiling. You're the only one that's not seeming to pick it up, I man. Man, if she, if she, 12 years. A man has known me for 12 years and you got the baby, but uh -huh. he ain't had sex with you, whatever. And then you got all these other men. Well, if that's the case, ma'am, if that's the case, you should never have to settle for anything. Matter of fact, you got a baby daddy want to marry you. You got this guy and that guy You're down in Australia with dingoes and cherubies. But it sounds to me like you full of shit. So like to me, you live in a fantasy world to where you're the star of your own show. And the sad part is when this movie is over, mm -hmm. there ain't gonna be no sequel. I don't want a sequel. I Good, die alone. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm sitting here listening.